Sonic fans will see anything put together by duct tape and some cardboard in a dream and say, Sega, hire this man now. I've heard it tossed around in discussion for Sonic Omens. <laughs> you know, I truly agree with that statement. I need you to get down on your knees and hire this man. And unfortunately, I completely disagree with what I just said right there. I'm not gonna go hate on the people that worked on the game. I'm sure they're passionate in itself. But, but in comparison to this other game, I would say it's just not quite there. Whereas Sonic Omens has put blood, sweat, and tears into that spectacle, it's eye candy. I gotta say, it's actual gameplay falls flat. Um, okay. So like, where you at? Some of its ideas are just bad shit, like why would you do this? Uh, it's, it's actual gameplay is, is just... Real janky. Almonds don't really feel stable, uh, either that be gameplay or performance. You're gonna be flying off the rails while you're playing at 20 FPS and the best card you can get. Now, you can enjoy the game if you want, and credit to the developers, they put a lot of hard work into it. I don't hate the game, but I think it's getting a significantly large chunk of attention when it comes to Sonic fans. And I think it's time for y'all to put some of that attention into a game you might just flat out love. I think it's time for y'all to dip your balls in the sauce. I did it. I gotta give it to you, Lake Fepper. This game really scratches that fucking itch. Now, if you've been around in the Sonic fan game community or it's the Sonic community in general, you probably know about the game Sonic before and after the sequel. You also probably know about Sonic Chrono Adventure. If not, do yourself a favor, go play those too. But Sonic before the sequel, it won Sage 2011 for best in show, and then he took what he made for Chrono Adventure and made Spark the Electric Jester. Already, like you can see, this is a one-man army. He's pushing, he's going crazy, and then he comes out with a sequel to that game. <laughs> the game goes 3D. He starts implementing combat like it's he's going crazy but with spark 3 i can't really put it into words that well but everything he's done it's culminated into this game right here this game is peak now quick disclaimer don't get it twisted i i like frontiers i'm not gonna take this video to go riff on it like <laughs> i think it's a good game i love the game i'm just taking a moment to talk about how much i love this game too now i'm not a critic but i think it's okay to talk about something if you like it enough why not now i know damn well that most of y'all came from that sonic video so if you did you probably like love Sonic Adventure 2 just like me. If you like the Sonic and Shadow levels, pretty much every level just plays like that. And don't get me wrong, this is a full game. There's about six areas. Each area has four to five levels, and then there's gonna be a boss battle. You got yourself some challenge levels. They're pretty fun. There's no shortage of cutscenes. This game actually indulges in its lore, and I love that about it. I wouldn't say this game is impossible to get into if you haven't gotten into the lore of the previous games. I say it gives you some backstory and gives you a general idea of what's going on. It's a fun game to jump right into. But I'd say it's definitely, uh, definitely a good thing to go back and catch up if you really want to the games are fun anyways but let's talk about the gameplay i'm sure if you saw the intro you probably thought damn this game kind of looks cool and it is you got plenty of moves that will be reminiscent of a sonic game sonic adventure 2 especially you got plenty of moves you can unlock as you go on that makes the game even more fun i wouldn't say they're necessary but they definitely do spice the game up all you really gotta do is buy those moves in the shop and then assign them to a d-pad position and they're set it's easy no if you like sonic games you probably like the replayability of them because you can go through stages you can learn the environments you can see what pathways make the game faster which are more interesting how to find collectibles i know that's our thing once again this game got no shortage of that this game has a high replay value. There's plenty of pathways you can take, each offer different experiences. I'd almost argue sometimes it gets overwhelming, but the way you can seamlessly transition from one pathway down to another, it's nice, it feels good. Not only are these levels beautifully designed, but this game is beautiful in general. I love its visual identity. Everything in this game has a defined art style. Everything looks like it belongs in this game, in this universe. Has a nice array of bright colors that mix perfectly with these dark, harsh shadows. All the character designs are unique, but they blend together in this world seamlessly. And the way it's shaded and textured just reminds me so much of Jet Set Radio Future. I can't get enough of it. Now I'll touch on that Spark 2 had its own combat system and Spark Free took that and greatly improved on it. Ever since it added its own combo system and you can launch enemies in the air, you can just kind of fold people like you would in Devil May Cry 5. It's a nice slice of stylish action, but once you get into it, you're gonna start feeling rewarded. It's satisfactory. You're gonna start mixing up combos. This is gonna make you feel good, like... 
Now again, I know a lot of you watching this are Sonic fans, and if you are a good, faithful Sonic fan, and you preach correctly, I know that you like your music. And thankfully for you, I got good news to deliver, this game's got music that's gonna keep the momentum going. It's, it's good. <laughs> Levels that do implement both the high speed platforming and the combat do it nice and seamless, you're gonna enjoy it. If you like speedrunning these high speed platforming sections and you like the challenge to that, these boss battles offer just as much of a challenge. Enemy attacks are always properly telegraphed, the game is fair. I'm sorry to let you know, but if you die, it's completely on you, and I had to learn that the hard way. And it's beating my fucking ass! Holy shit! I bullshitted myself! I'm not going to drone this video for much longer, but if anybody was given the high title of Sega Hire This Man, I think it's going to go to the team that worked on this game in Lake Fepper. Thank you for scratching my itch. Uh, I needed it, I, I've needed it scratched since I was about six years old. Do yourself a favor as a Sonic fan and pick up this game and just enjoy yourself. I'm, I'm not asking, I'm kind of demanding. That's it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching this video, but just for a moment, I'd like to thank you guys for the support in the last video. Wasn't expecting it to go uh, nearly as big as it did. Um, like, it's kind of just for my own sanity. A lot of good criticism on that video, a lot of good ideas, and I appreciate you guys. Um, this shit has me more motivated on this YouTube shit than I ever have been, so I'm gonna be working on some more videos, why not? I'll see you guys next time.